Well that's all the chores done and now I can get on and have some fun. <laughs> I say fun. Uh, in here somewhere there is a large box and in it is a tent. Um, one of my family viewers, one of my family viewers, that's an interesting expression, one of my viewers has sent me, given me, I think last year, a family-sized tent. It's massive, got this box I can barely lift. It's been buried in here for about six months, but the lovely Julia and I are going to stay in Ian McCaggan's field, I understand. Julia's arranged all this, so it's, I'm very excited. Um, and we're going to try out the tent. But before we do that, we've got to erect the tent. And then hopefully later on in the year, we'll go and actually go somewhere, um, another part of the UK, and, you know, stay in the tent on a, on a travel. It saves a, an Airbnb and, and all that. And we haven't done that. We've done the narrow boating um, and we've done Airbnbs. But this time we'll go probably to a campsite somewhere and, and do all of that. Of course, I've done alone in the van and I will be doing more of that. But we just need to know that it's all there. I haven't opened the box. I don't know what colour it is. I don't know what it looks like. It's just got a very heavy box that I need to first get in the van and then we'll go. I think we're going to Goring Gap, which is a green sward of land. And we're just going to try and erect the thing. I don't even know if there's any instructions in there. Ah. So we're in the van and the lovely Julia has joined me. Hello lovely Julia. Hello lovely Richard. We've got Hello, this... viewers. Hello viewers. Hello viewers. We've got this dirty grey tent in the back. I have to say, good old Tim Tricker, he happened to pop round just as I was uh, struggling with the big box and he said, I'll give you a hand with that. And I said, oh, thanks so much. However, Julia, we've got to lift this thing out, open it up. It's, I don't know. I don't know the colour. I don't know the shape. I don't know how many rooms it's got. Um, don't, don't know the size. I mentioned to Sean James Cameron we're doing, oh no, to uh, uh, Ricky and he said, oh, it's a big top, is it? He says, have you got your Ringmasters outfit ready and your sparkly sequin number? <laughs> yeah, we've got the camels, the horses, the, um, we've got it all. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be great? So it would be entertaining. Hopefully it would be entertaining getting this thing out. So. Yeah, hopefully it will be funny anyway. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, as I'll ever be. Right.
excuse the wind if it's windy. Pardon? I said, <laughs> excuse the wind! Okay. We've um, got it out, <laughs> and the tent. Um, it's heavy. It comes in a useful bag, um, but there's a stirrup pump. And I don't know if... Um, Maybe some of the supporting structure is inflatable. Oh yeah, how That's exciting. Something that they've been doing with modern tents. Brilliant. Well, let's, uh, let's open it up and find out what it looks like, shall we? Yes. Yay! Exciting! Cool, blimey, go up there. Great! It's a tent and it's flat. So somehow we pump it up. I think there is some instructions. Should we take a minute to look at them then? Yeah. Yeah, number one, read the instructions. First thing we've got to do is put the stakes in. And the stakes. Well, there's a whole bag of them. We've got those on each corner, which we've done. Now we've got to pump. Now we've got to pump up the middle ribs. Hard work, Julia. It's getting harder. But look at what you're doing. It's a good work. Oh, I have to put weight into it a bit. Presumably, there's a hole here. Yeah. Third time lucky trying to inflate one of these support poles. The, the valve, the first two times, um, didn't pop out properly so therefore the air came gushing straight out as if there wasn't enough air movement today <laughs> so third time hopefully uh, we have just tested it before we fully inflated it this time and the valve does work done it yeah <laughs> she's doing a sterling job so I think uh, her backside is leaking. It's a fantastic tent. Just coming around here to give it a bit more of a look. Yeah, the valves, that took us a bit by surprise. For some reason, haven't worked out why, this end on the second stirrup pump doesn't seem to plug in. So we're just sticking with the very lovely, more professional stirrup pump, which is great. Oh, we've got the valve business. Let's uh, show you what's happening. Just turn it slowly and then... Oh, well, well done. Ooh, and then twist it on. That feels nice and secure. One, more time there. One to go. <laughs> what? At the other end. Oh, I There's thought there three. was only... Oh. I think there's a puncture because no matter how much we pump goes up for a bit as soon as you stop it's 
it just gets to a point where it's coming out. It's coming out somewhere, but we don't know where. Unless the valve's not working, which, as you can imagine, is a great shame. I'm sure we've not done anything to the pump. No, that's. It's a good job we uh, didn't just go without checking the tent first because that would have been a disaster, wouldn't it? We would have been sleeping in half a tent. Well, we'd always sleep in the van, I suppose. crawling into the tent as you can see it's a lovely tent and has so much potential <laughs> if only the ribs can be fixed presumably they do break so if there's a zip here I think they are possible to take them out and then do the inner tube test probably which might be something I'm gonna have to do at home somehow or on another day, I'll uh, I'll hold the tent up and let you in, Julia. Okay. Yeah, not easy, is it? No, no. Um, right. Being I'll... an inflatable rib cage. I'll Oof. hold it up. And... Right. Yeah. I've lost you. You're going in. Oh, She's in there somewhere. Have a call. There you go. Oh. We've got to get it fixed. You can see on the ribs how they look like they unzip. Oh yes, yeah, so you must be able to replace the inner tube. Yeah. If not, fix it. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. Oh well. Out we come. Tell you what, Richard. You thought that bit was fun. Now yeah. we've got to pack it away. We've got to pack it away, get it in the van. You've got to go and pick up Joe. Yep. Uh, we thought it would be quite easy. Clearly, we've got to fix it before we can go away. Yeah. What a pain. Well, at least we know now. Yeah, but it's still a free tent to us, so thank you so much for sending it to us. Um, but let's get it stripped down and bunged in the bag. Let's go. <sighs> it's in the van. And we're down on the beach. Lovely sunshine. Down at Goring Gap. Oh, that's um, a shame, but we know it can be repaired. Yeah, we so, found a puncture repair kit, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, there's a puncture repair kit in there, so it's just a question now of perhaps on another day when we've got more time, finding somewhere else where we can unfold it yeah. and extract the tube, work out where the puncture is, so, do we need the tin bath to immerse it? Yeah, we need the tin bath. Yay. You see, it's well worth spending the money on the tin bath. Nice. Perfect. Um, and uh, there's an ice cream van behind us, so we're going to celebrate. I'm going to treat us and get us an ice cream if that's oh, all right. That's absolutely fantastic. Cheers, lovely Julia. Cheers. Thank you very, thank you very much. Clink. <laughs> Squidge. Mm. Mm. I feel like the season has started now. Definitely. Thanks to Joe in his van Ice cream van. Cheers Joe. Brilliant stuff. Lovely, it's actually very tasty this. Mm. Don't look that I'm eating chocolate either. <laughs> chocolate and sugar and... Shh. Shush. Don't tell the viewers. Don't tell them. Well, no, but... Mm. What they don't know won't hurt them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this nonsense. A um, bit disappointed that, that we couldn't immediately get going, but a setback, not hopefully not too much of a major one. Somebody out there will know what we need to do and maybe able to help us. In the meantime, we're gonna have some ice creams and smiles. Like, subscribe, and all of that jazz. See you next time. Take care everyone, bye. Have a lick. Thank <laughs> you.